friends, welcome to my patio. I thought I would do um, a chair yoga video on my patio, trying to embrace the last bits of summer before we enter into fall. So you're gonna have to bear with some of the construction that's happening in my neighborhood. But I thought we could do a nice little chair sequence right here on my patio and embracing a little bit of um, mother nature. So whenever we start with um, a chair yoga sequence, it's always so important to check in with yourself. How are you feeling today? Make sure your feet are hip width distance apart, knees right on top of those ankles. And we're gonna have those shoulders right on top of our hips, just to realign and make sure our bodies are nice and aligned. Okay, you'll notice that I'm sitting on my patio chair. So any stable surface that is gonna be supportive for you. And you'll notice that these patio chairs also have arms. So that's a great support if we ever need to readjust or do anything we need to do with these supportive arms. Okay, so we're gonna start with our feet hip width distance apart and let's connect to our breath first. So let's have our hands to our um, heart. We're gonna take a nice deep breath here, breathing in, exhale out. We're gonna do that again, breathing in and exhale out. Let's take our hands down onto our thighs. Let's take the left arm all the way up. So I'm mirroring you. We're gonna take the left arm all the way up. Inhale, big high five to the sky and exhale, breathe out. Other arm, breathing in, high five to the, hat, the sky and exhale, breathe out. Okay, we're gonna do both arms. Inhale, reaching up, sitting nice and tall, maybe drawing your belly in, and exhale, breathe out. <sighs> Let's do that again. Breathing in, both arms up. Exhale, breathing out. <sighs> One more time, breathing in. Reach up, high 10 to the heavens, and breathe out. <sighs> Good. Let's take our hands down to the sides of us and just start to roll out your shoulders. Three. Breathing with motion, two and one. That feels really good. Let's take the right arm all the way up and then stretch to the side. Breathe out. Very good. We're gonna try to keep our shoulders, the bottom and the top one, very relaxed. Come on back up. Inhaling, tall spine. Exhale, breathing out. Again, inhaling, reaching all the way up. And exhale, breathing out. Inhale, lift, and let's release and relax our arm. Let's do the other side. Breathing in, left arm up, and stretch to the side. Exhale. Again, breathing in, lift and lengthen all the way up. Exhale, soften those shoulders. Awesome, come on back up, breathing in. And exhale, breathe out. Perfect, come on all the way back up, lift, and release. We're gonna roll those shoulders out again. Three, keep on breathing. Two, and one. Great. Now because this is a short sequence, we're just going to work a little bit of the arms and the neck and a quick little bit on our legs. So let's go ahead and turn our head to the right. Breathing in and out. Okay, come on back to center. Let's look to the other side. Don't forget, relax those shoulders. Breathing in and out. Ah, good, come on back to center. Let's take the right ear to the right shoulder. Whoosh, neck is a little bit grumpy today. Breathe in and out. Come on back to center. You'll notice I'm closing my eyes. And why I do that is because it allows me to relax more into the pose. Inhaling, ah, exhaling, good. Come on back to center. We're gonna take our chin down to the chest and then breathe in, look up. And I want you to gently look behind you. Not behind, but rather up to the sky. The head is going behind. Good, come on back to center. And then gently, let's do a little circle here. Little semi-circle up and around, okay? Going three times, three times a charm. Gentle cervical rotations. 
Now I don't want you to do anything that's uncomfortable for you. So if this is too much, then we don't do it, right? Let's go the other way. Don't forget to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Gentle semicircle. You'll notice that now I'm starting to look up a little bit on this rotation here. One more time. Lift and back to center. And inhale, come on back up. Perfect. Let's roll those shoulders out. Three. Breathing. Two. One. Awesome. Let's go ahead and scooch ourselves a little bit closer to the edge of our chair so that we don't bonk our arms on the sides here. We're gonna take the arms, nice big breath. Inhale, reach, breathe out, take your hands down. Again, inhale, reach all the way up, left up, tight belly, lengthen the spine. Exhale, down, one more time, breathing in. Lengthen the spine, tight belly, exhale, release. Do something a little bit different now. We're going to breathe in, touch. I want you to breathe out with a nice, solid, secure back. You're going to come down. Breathe out. Ooh, down to our feet. Now, with the weight in your heels and with a nice, tight belly, I want you to come on up. Breathing in. Just take your hands to the tops of the thighs. And see how the crown of my head is reaching to you? That's what I want you to do. Reach that crown of the head to the front of the room. Hands to the tops of the thighs. Breathe in here. And then exhale, I want you to slide all the way down. Now, if you can't get all the way down, that's okay. Don't go all the way down. Do what's best for your body. Now, with the weight in your heels and a nice, snug, tight belly supporting your back, come on up. Big arms, big breath. Lead with the chest, arms up. And then exhale, take your hands to the heart. We just did half sun salutation on a chair. Okay, Ardha Surya Namaskar on a chair. Arms up, breathe in. Let's try it again. Inhale, touch. Exhale, hands down to the sides. Breathing in. Exhale, we're hinging at the waist. Come on all the way down. Okay, down to wherever you can make it to. So maybe if it's here, that's fine. If it's down here, even better. Draw the belly in, tight belly. Come on up to flat back. Tight, tight belly here. Exhale, come down to the toes, finding mobility. And then press into those heels. Reach all the way up, hinge at the waist. Lead with your chest, arms up, and then hands to the heart. Can we try one more? Breathing in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, hinge at the waist. Come on all the way down. Nice flat back, and then release. Tight belly, weight in the heels, come on all the way up to flat back. Hands come to the top of the thighs, and the crown of the head reaching to the front. Breathe in here. Exhale, come on all the way down. You're doing great. Hinge at the waist, tight belly, weight in the heels, press up, push, push, push. Up, 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 up. Inhale, and exhale, hands down. Perfect. Let's roll those shoulders up. Three, two, Ah, and one. Awesome. Now let's work on these legs here. I'm going to take my hands to the side of my chair. Now if you want to, you can put your hands on top of those armrests if you wish. I like to put my hands on the chair. Um, it's up to you. It's your body. It's your yoga. So I'm going to take my hands on top of the chair. I'm going to bring my feet a little bit closer to me, making sure that the ankles are right underneath my knees. Okay, remember, shoulders right on top of the waist. Really align the body here. Now let's lift the crown of the head so we're long and lengthened up to the sky. So we're feeling more breath. And we can send all that nice energy up and down. Okay, now with relaxed shoulders, let's go ahead and take the left foot out. Breathe in and breathe out. Other side. Inhale, exhale. Again, breathing in. Kick it out and release. Breathing in, out. Again, breathing in and out. Other side, in and out. Now, let's see how it feels for us to engage our belly muscles. Lift that knee up, up and release. Whew. Now, I'm on a really squishy cushion, so then I'm really working extra in my core and my lower back. 
back. So I need to tighten this space. If you're on a more firm chair, it might be a little bit easier. Okay, let's try the other side. Breathe in and breathe out. Ooh, let's do that again. Inhale on the other side and release. Exhale, breathing in and breathing out. Let's do it together now with that extension. So we're gonna lift up and to kick it out. Kick it up and release. Okay, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Ooh, you're starting to feel into the hips. Breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Tight belly, in and out. Chest up, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Is anybody feeling though in your legs now? In, out, breathing in, breathe out. Whoa. Let's do a half sun salutation. Breathe in, touch, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, let's go on down. Breathe out. Whoosh. Remember, tight belly, come on up. Tight, tight belly, support your spine. Inhale here, exhale, come on down. And then hinge at the waist, come on all the way up. Tight, tight belly, inhale, and then exhale, release. Whoosh, well done. Let's go ahead and take that right leg up. And I want you to see if you can cross that leg right like so. See how that is for you. Of course, if your physician has said you're recovering from any surgery and they say, mm, not a good idea to be crossing your legs based on any hip or knee surgeries, then we don't want to do that. So you want to omit this part, okay? If you haven't and all systems are a go, we're going to cross the leg just like so. And already here, you may be feeling it right into that hip. Okay, so this is perfect just the way you are. You're gonna take a couple breaths here, breathe in and out. Now, for those of you who want a little bit more, we're gonna inhale, lengthening up, and then as we exhale, we'll hinge at the waist and come forward. Breathe out. Very good. Now, draw the belly in, and then soften and melt a little bit more. You'll notice I'll take my hands down. Ooh. Now, if that's too much, you're gonna lift yourself up and just try to relax here as best as you can, surrendering to this posture, allowing the hip to open up a little. Inhaling, exhaling. Now, with a tight belly, you'll notice there's a theme here, supporting our lower back. We're gonna engage the belly muscles before we come up. Inhale, Press up, tight belly. And then exhale, release. Breathe in, and then take your hands, help that leg, and release it. Woo! How's that feel? Let's try the other side. So reposition your feet. Let's take the other leg up, okay? Left leg, breathe in, and then go ahead and cross it. Okay, try to have that nice little squared off leg. See how that hip feels, and if you've been um, sitting more than usual and not as active and walking or doing any other activities, this may be extra tight, so be careful. Inhale here, exhale, breathing in, and then let's go ahead and hinge at the waist and get a little extra oomph into that hip. Whoosh. We're going to try to surrender to this posture, softening. Sometimes it helps to relax the face because the relaxed face relaxes the body. So we're gonna breathe in, exhale out, breathe with me in and out. Well done. Okay, tighten your belly muscles, supporting your lower back. We're gonna press up, inhaling up, exhaling, releasing, breathing in, whoosh, and let's release that leg. Let's go ahead and take our hands facing where our toes are to the front and extend our legs. Doesn't that feel good? Ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead and just kind of give our legs a little jiggle jiggle here. And you know, because I practice Chinese medicine as an acupuncturist, I'm a big believer in activating the chi and the blood in the body, not just through movement, but also through tapping along the meridians in the channel. So we're gonna go ahead and I want you to go ahead and tap on the outside of the legs and on the inside of the legs. So trust me, they're gonna feel good from doing this. You can take your hands as an open fist or you can 
just gently clench them here. So we're gonna tap, 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 come all the way down, and then come all the way up. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Tap, 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 down, and all the way up. Perfect, one more time, three times a charm. Tap, down, and breathe in, come on all the way up. Perfect, okay. How does that feel? So we're gonna stretch those legs out, take your fingertips, make sure they're facing the front of um, where your front toes are. I want you to stretch out, give yourself a, a little tuck, tuck your belly in, give yourself a little heart opener. So we're gonna open up the chest here. <sighs> take a nice deep breath in, inhale, exhale. Woo. Okay, we're gonna have our feet planted down here. See if you can just lift your hips up a little. Whoosh, reverse table on a chair, and then release. Ooh. Was that too much? We're gonna come back and sit back down, shake out those wrists. But speaking of wrists, let's readjust ourselves so that we're nicely aligned on our chair. Let's continue to shake out those wrists. Let's place them together, those hands, and let's roll them out. We don't give enough love to our hands and our wrists. So we're gonna roll them out. Don't forget to breathe both ways. And then go ahead and show me your best roller coaster. Woo. Now, how good are you at doing the roller coaster the opposite way? Does it look just as fluid and flowy? Go ahead and do it the other way now. Awesome, now breathe in, reach. Nice long stretch, inhale. And then exhale, take your hands behind your head, breathe out, ah, embrace that sunshine, mm, breathe in, and then exhale, release, come back to neutral, we're going to release the arms, inhale, and then release, breathing out. Ah, well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me on my patio, hope it wasn't too crazy and noisy. I do enjoy practicing yoga with you please do subscribe to my channel and I look forward to hearing from you. So please do make, send a comment. Let me know what, where, where you're from and what you're doing. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Namaste.